Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to create a knowledge graph from scratch. So you have been heard about this uh, knowledge graph in multiple uh, sections. So we can also um, go through this uh, tutorial with a use case like um, how LinkedIn is suggesting uh, uh, mutual friends or uh, related suggestions and even for uh, recommendation engines, how uh, they can use uh, knowledge graph information uh, to connect things and uh, represent the information in meaningful way. So uh, the knowledge graphs are really helpful for um, different data types are uh, connected to each other. So we will see a example like uh, how the persons are connecting uh, each other like a friend. We can also add additional concepts like programming language or AI etc in this uh, knowledge graph and how we could utilize that information for any project. So this is like a simple use case. I'm just going to create a knowledge graph and uh, visualize it for better understanding. And uh, maybe in future videos, we could use this knowledge graph for some application for more better understanding. Okay, let's start with this. First, we need to import the modules. So from, sorry, import network X as NX and uh, we need matplotlib import matplotlib dot by plot as plot okay after this we will create a new graph so here we are creating the graph from scratch so sometimes we can also create the graph using uh, sentences in a paragraph or a book we can create a more knowledge graph from this like by extracting relevant en entities so I will show you like uh, how we can uh, create these entities in a graph so this will create the graph for us. Then we will add nodes with the types. So add nodes with types. So g dot add node. So I'm going to repeat few things. So I'll just fill up the basic information here. So here we are going to fill those uh, information. Let me repeat it for some time. Okay, so in the first node, I'm going to name it as Alice and uh, the type will be a person. And second will be Bob and he's also a person. Third will be Lucy and uh, she's also a person and uh, Natsu you can see it's like a strange names if you know these names you can leave a co comment below we can discuss there and uh, okay we have like four persons I think that would be enough let's add additional types like uh, maybe Python so it's a programming language so you can define any types um, you want. So it's not like limited to certain types in the module. So you, you can give anything. And uh, I will add another thing called AI, which is like a concept. Okay, so these are the uh, nodes. Now we have to connect these nodes. So each edge will have some kind of a relationship. Let's run this and then add edges or relation ships for the nodes okay here again g dot add edge we have to uh, pass the uh, nodes like from and to and the relationship relationship between them Okay, now we have to like repeat this information multiple times. Okay, now I will say Alice and Bob is a friend. Okay, now Lucy and uh, Natsu our friends 
and uh, we will also have some interconnection maybe Alice and Lucy also friend okay now Alice Alice uses Python or you can also mention it as uh, she knows Python and uh, Python AI like we can assume that A can be implemented with uh, Python implemented with it's like two entities we are uh, getting like uh, the person entities or uh, person object entities and we are adding the relationship here we can also extract this information using LLMs and uh, create these uh, knowledge graph from scratch maybe that's like an advanced class concept uh, which we will cover in the future videos now lastly Bob maybe Bob AI and uh, he uses AI okay these are the edges now we have the nodes and we have the edges let's uh, draw the graph so we can uh, better understand how it works so draw the graph positions and next dot spring layout of graph then plot dot figure fix size 10 comma 7 okay now we have to draw the nodes uh, with colors draw nodes with colors based on type so node types I will get it from the graph so for node in g dot nodes so from the node g dot nodes of node of type so we are getting the node types from here and we will create a color map which is a dictionary so here I am representing person as like light blue then what else we have so we have programming language and uh, concept so programming language I will have light green then concept I will have maybe light red okay now colors equals for type in node types maybe node type in node types so from the color map I will just display the colors so color map of node type okay this will have the corresponding colors for the respective nodes then and next draw and next dot draw graph the layout with labels okay, it's not suggesting so with labels equals true node colors node colors equals colors which we created earlier node size equals 2000 and font size maybe 10 okay labels equals nx dot get edge attributes g dot sorry g how to get this uh, edges which will be marked as uh, labels so relationship relationship then nx dot draw sorry draw 
network x edge labels here again we pass the graph positions edge labels labels maybe here also i will just uh, call it as edge labels okay now font color what color we can use maybe blue now we will show the plot plot dot title knowledge graph and then plot dot show run this okay some errors are occurring node colors okay i think um, we have to like fill up more um, arguments so font color i will have it as black and then edge color edge color gray run this okay this is color okay i think light red is not available let me just change it to the available color maybe light coral now let's run this okay now the knowledge graph is clear but it's somewhat big i will reduce the size still i will reduce this okay now it's uh, fully clear for us and uh, i think uh, this is like overlapping because of the shorter graph so still it's fine uh, so this is a simple knowledge graph if we have more uh, attributes uh, along with more edges means it will be more complex so while iterating through the knowledge graph uh, how it works is so let's say uh, natsu is a friend of uh, lucy and alice is a mutual friend of natsu so there is like a first network of uh, relationship between them and uh, you can also assume natsu can be a mutual friend of bob because uh, there is a relationship between them because these two people know each other and they can also uh, know each other like a transitive property for lucy uh, they are searching for a user who knows ai so using this connection we can easily found out that bob uses uh, ai because of this uh, interconnection of rel relationship and uh, we, even for python we can see that a ai is implemented with uh, python so these kind of uh, object attributes and um, personal attributes are interconnected with each other and based on the use case uh, that we need we can always traverse through the graph if we think of a use case of uh, linkedin means uh, they always uh, show you the person names with uh, different levels right so in here natsu and lucy will be on the first level and natsu and alice will be on the second level because of the uh, number of edges they have and uh, natsu and ai will have like a third level because of this connecting edges so that's how the knowledge graph works and uh, even for uh, creating a knowledge graph from the sentence we can use uh, spacey uh, name entity recognition to uh get the entities from the text like uh alice and bob are friends and uh, bob uses ai if the text is something like that we can extract the necessary attribute and uh, create these uh, uh nodes and edges so that's pretty much it guys so this is all about uh, the fancy knowledge graph uh, uh, everyone is talking about but this is uh, very helpful in many use cases we will see some of the use cases in future videos Apart from this if you like this video hit the like button and, and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this